Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Align Plans. Thank you so much for coming by. And today, as you can tell by the title, we're going to be unboxing our January box from Cloth and Paper. It has finally arrived. It just came in the mail. So why don't we just dive right in? And of course, if you are brand new here and this is the first time that we're meeting, well, hello, hello, my name is Meshi and I am the voice behind Align Plans. Hopefully you will stick around because we chat at least one to two times a week, depending on the week on this channel. And we talk about anything and everything, minimalist planning and how we can use these beautiful tools in the most intentional way. So if that sounds good and you, or you're new to planning, you would probably really enjoy it here. Okay, why don't I just unbox this guy and kind of get started and then we'll go through everything and see some of if I can kind of put some of the things into my planner so you can kind of see them in action. So first and foremost, I would like to point out that once again, I had to pay a bit more in extra shipping because they did stop it at the border, which is of course annoying and disappointing. Not much we can do about it, but just keep that in mind that if you are ordering from Canada, you are kind of taking your chances on having it stopped at the border. So you might have to pay for duties. Okay, let's see. Well, first of all, I already know that they have this brand new box set up, which is just, you know, packaging is next level. It's really beautiful. Then you have your little card here that kind of shows you exactly what you're getting in your box. So let me remove this. I do appreciate this though. I feel that this was a really nice touch because then that way your stuff doesn't like float around everywhere especially when they had the, um, you know, the, just the tissue paper. Okay, let me get rid of the box, as beautiful as it is. Let's just get rid of this guy and we'll get you guys zoomed in. Here we go. Okay, so first and foremost, we have some matchsticks that are happening and looks like these are like their new, new colors that are, that they came out with. Does it tell you the name? It just says matchstick page flags. It doesn't actually say the name. I kind of wish that they would tell you the name of them. I mean, the, the name of the color. Okay, here it's Tuscany and Cafe Noir. So we, have, we also have some half page stickies, which I really appreciate because I actually did need some new stickies. Looks like this is all of the cards that are, that are coming up. Oh, very nice. And looks like we actually have some half page little dashboard situation going on. Yeah, new beginnings dashboard, very beautiful. Let's zoom out so you can see it in full frame. You get quite a bit actually. So we have two different dashboards. Looks like this is, we're really going with like this mustard color. It's a swatch dashboard. I love it. And we also have balance is not something you find. It's something you create. Okay. So first of all, I would like to just pause, just, just press pause for just a moment. Um, I don't even know if you can see this. Maybe you can. So can you see how there's two cards here? So in my previous video, the one that actually just uploaded today, you will find that I was talking to you guys about how you can use mindfulness, um, how you can kind of incorporate mindfulness into your planning routine. So right now, this is talking about balance. I can't even make this up, watch. This is a card that I pulled this morning as sort of like the intention for the day. Hopefully I can color correct this today. I do have enough light coming in and it doesn't seem like it's a dark video. So hopefully you can kind of see that, but that card, it's actually in case you're not familiar with Oracle decks, this one is from the Sacred Creator Oracle from Chris Ann. She's also a fellow Canadian creator. Beautiful. It's like her stuff. If you ever get into Oracle cards and things like that, her cards are just deep, thoughtful, very beautiful, very high quality. Um, she does her own watercolor. Totally a different topic, but anyway, so I pulled the, the card balance. And then here we're talking about balance is not 
something you find it's something you create and isn't that the truth it's so so true in so many areas in life okay i need to dive into this what is this what is this situation it looks like this says it's an arched folder i'm trying not to noise too too much in case we are being blessed with a completely quiet house right now Sorry guys. It's really rare that I can actually film in complete another quiet, so I'm really trying to embrace it. This is so cool. I'm not sure what we will be using this for, but nevertheless, really cool. And let's take a look at some of the inserts that we have. Okay, so it looks like we have monthly admin. And we have weekly admin. I really appreciate this, I have to say. Because I will likely use these. Not that I don't have enough weekly and so here is I will just honestly you guys I will literally just insert close-up of all of the things because I think that you have a better look at it that way rather than just me shoving it in your face here but let's unpack it because we will be using it and let's take a look at some of the cards that and I wanted to unpack I think I will just keep this in its packaging for the time being but I wanted to see all of the journal cards so we have the March monthly just the calendar card which is always super fun I don't see much of use for it in like on my desk because but I think I will have a fantastic use for it so stay tuned for for that another little swatch card which is fantastic for layering like look how cute this looks together can we please discuss this like so minimalist and elegant I love it then it says create without boundaries so I have to say it is quite fitting of just what their monthly focus is and how it sort of ends up aligning with what I place focus on each month because as you guys might already know I usually have like a different focus each month that I kind of like to focus on within my mental health with with my physical health I kind of like I really love the idea of themes and this happens to be you know like right now for the month of february we're really moving into the month where i'm going to not only begin my meditation teacher training but then i'm also getting a new ipad and the whole idea behind me getting an ipad was so that i can start drawing again i really found that drawing and doodling and creating was definitely something that i have been missing so quick side update and i might actually make like a whole separate video around this but i will be getting um a new planner a hobonichi planner because i used to bullet journal and that's one of the things that i really enjoyed about bullet journaling was actually to be able to doodle and to draw and to create and the moment that i moved into some of these more minimalist looking planners is that i found that it's fantastic i don't get overwhelmed but i'm also i'm not creating as much so anyway and then this is more like a larger journal card type of situation capture ideas quickly in your inbox create so it looks like it's like quick planning tools create a task timeline allocate your resources plan at the same time every day write out a clear and concise plan categorize your task list schedule your top three rather than adding it to your task list and include quick tasks to your task list to give yourself some wins revisit your task list often and don't overwhelm yourself migrate tasks you don't complete i love this i feel like we need stuff like this because then it just gives us permission to really just work with our own systems without really feeling like we we need to do all of the things all the time and we need to be perfect at it 
So I really appreciate little tools like that. Little reminders, they're, they're very important. And let me unpack these because I would love to just literally just add it in as an extra dashboard. I do think that this kind of adds a little something something to, to my layout. And I think that this will actually be perfect in my mindfulness section in my planner. So let's add her in. And I know that the cloth and paper was making a quick note about, I believe that there are some shipping delays that they're having. So, I mean, I am quite grateful that I upgraded my shipping, but unfortunately we're still at a point where it still gets stopped at the border and you're still paying extra, which, you know, it stings, but I still very much enjoy re receiving these types of boxes each month. Always keep your paper. Okay, let's add things one by one. And I will be doing like a flip through. I think that some of you guys told me that you would be interested in seeing like a month and flip through. So just kind of keep an eye out for that. So that will that video will be coming up really soon. So let's go into the wellness section. And I think that here is the perfect spot. And then let's add. I feel like balance should come to the very front. I really want to be able to see this right away. talk about layering that looks so pretty no you know what I don't have anything under finance so why don't we add it here there we go I'm sure that I will be making some changes before the end of the month before we move into the month of February but at least this is in for now I do want to add this just right here. I feel like that should be like right here somewhere. You know, we will have to play around with it to find its home. But I feel like I want to really have it like that center or maybe somewhere here. That's actually one thing that I started doing that was like a really great idea is just to have these uh, flags Oh, I love that. Here we go. And I also feel like we can add this and we can add this. I do want to kind of try them out. Actually, why don't I just swatch this for you guys just in case you haven't actually seen it in action just yet. So here is the really neutral, it's almost like a, a neutral white. Yeah. So this is what she looks like. Here's the black, which I think they, they called it like cafe mocha or something. And as you can tell, it takes up about two lines. And then here is this brand new color, this deep mustard color. Oh, 
doesn't want to stay put. Here we go. So there you have it. Now I wanted to see these sticky notes since we're already, we're already committed, so might as well. Oh, okay, so they are like literally half page. Very cool. So this is basically everything. And then we, we also have a couple of like these little layering things happening, which I think would be fantastic with like one of these quotes. So we can do something like this. Yeah, it's more like a contact card that they have. I feel like that can just be here, you know? Just something neutral. Oh, that looks lovely. Okay, this is basically it. I mean, like we will go through like a full flip through so that you guys can take a look and and kind of check everything out in in action but let me know what you guys think of this month's sub box did you enjoy it did you not what is your favorite your favorite thing in the whole box um i have to say i'm not sure which one is my favorite i do enjoy the whole thing i'm not sure how i feel about this mustard colored i have to say but overall i'm, I'm quite pleased with it so that's it hope that you have enjoyed this video if you did you already know what to do you can give me a thumbs up you can also subscribe to the channel if you have not yet already and just keep planning you guys and i cannot wait to see you in my next video bye